You know, Mother's Day is kind of a difficult day for me and my family. Um, today being May 10th and Mother's Day, it's actually my mother's birthday and Mother's Day at the same time. It always falls right around the same weekend. And I thought I'd do a little story time, a little Mother's Day story time. You know, people ask me all the time about my tattoo. And I thought I'd give kind of a, a little bit of a background on it and why I did this for my mother. My mother passed away uh, several years ago and I've always wanted to do something creative for her so I came up with this idea for a tattoo and there's a little bit of a fun story behind it the mountain and the and this here and you'll see about it in a minute when recently I was up in Canada and actually saw the inspiration for this and I photographed it and I've got some clips of when I've told the story before and I've meant to put it into different videos and they're from different times and then I'm also going to show you a time lapse I did of the actual mountain and the location. I carry my mother with me in here, up here, and on here every day. She was a big inspiration in my life and the art that I do. And I thought I would just kind of share this story. So I apologize if it jumps around a lot. There are some gaps and things that are missing and maybe I'll throw a little fill in here of me sitting here to kind of clarify everything. All right, so here's the deal. I've always wanted to get a big tattoo. I've always wanted to do something a little bit bigger. The problem is I've always been trying to find that piece. What am I going to put on my body that's going to last forever? And uh, I've always wanted to do something for my mom. My mom passed away a couple years ago. She was an amazing person. Uh, probably one of the most amazing people I've ever met or come across in my entire life. But the problem is, is, is nothing has ever kind of worked out the way I wanted it to. So. Recently, I kind of had this idea. I had this thought. I had been traveling, I'd seen some locations, I've seen some things, and I was like, that might work. I was in northern Minnesota, and I was up on the Gunflint Trail, and I f saw this reflection on a lake of the pine trees, and they were reflected in perfect mirror form. And I thought, God, those trees look just like, in the reflection, they look just like a, a waveform. And I started looking around for reflection, lake reflections with trees and mountains. So I, I pieced together a bunch of things and I sent it off to a tattoo artist and said, what do you think? He loved it. So we just kind of went with it. And the thing that I came up with was actually based off of an image I saw here. I love the shape of the mountain. I love the way it looked. I thought it would look really cool as a structure on a tattoo, on something. And this this was the mountain that I, uh, that I used. So it's... <laughs> So at this point, I realize I'm not actually saying in the video why I chose this mountain. And that was because when I originally designed this, I used a mountain I thought looked really cool. It was a neat looking mountain. I thought that's gonna be neat on a tattoo. And I found that mountain before I knew where it actually existed. And this is, this is the piece I came up with. So this is the piece for my mother. It's a nice mountain scene because I'm from the West Coast. I'm from out in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I always think of my mother from living out there. She never lived here in, in this area here where there's no structure, there's no mountains. I miss the mountains every single day. And when I think of her, I think of out there. So that's where that came from. And then I've got this tree line reflected on the water here. That tree line is actually a waveform of my mother's laugh. She had this infectious laugh that you just knew it was her from miles away just she just made everybody smile and she was always laughing <laughs> so what I did is I took the audio file from that and basically if you've ever seen an audio file it has peaks and valleys that look just like a tree line on the water reflected on a perfectly calm morning when the water is glass so that's what that is that's her laugh put and turned into a tree line in a mountain scene. And then I was up in the Banff area and I saw Mount Rundle, which is right outside of Banff, and I thought, oh, there's the mountain that I use. And I was telling everybody that. I was like, look, I got a Rundle on my arm. And, and uh, then I was laying in bed one of those nights while I was out there in Banff, and I was searching around, trying to find a place to go photograph. I'm flipping through pictures, trying to find locations to shoot out here, trying to find fun things to, to photograph. I stumbled back across Emerald Lake. And there's that mountain. I looked and I was like, okay, that's Mount Burgess. And that looks more like my tattoo than Mount Rundle did, which was the other one. And as I compared, I said, oh my gosh, I've been telling everybody that I would use Mount Rundle and it was the wrong mountain. So it was about 45 minutes to an hour drive. I got in the car the next morning and I took off and I had to go see this mountain in person. The one that two years prior, I had chosen to design a tattoo around and had never seen it in person. All right, I found it. Emerald Lake. i never seen anything like this in my life. So that's my mountain right there. That's my mountain. 
So here I am, I designed this tattoo, I come up, I used the idea with the waveform, I took this image of this mountain and I turned it into something and that's, that's what it is. It was a pretty intense moment for me to walk out and see this scene. It was a pretty emotional time to know that this image that I'd found that I liked the design and used it on something that's gonna stay with me forever to keep my mother with me, now I'm seeing this giant mountain in person. As soon as all this stuff is over and I can get traveling again, I'm gonna go back up there and I wanna photograph the place with no snow, with the crystal clear water, and with the actual mirrored reflection, and then I'm gonna put it up there on my wall, a big, big ass image up on my wall. That's my mom's piece right there. That's her laughing and she will always be laughing with me because you guys know I'm an idiot and I like to laugh too. So, that's it. There it is. Thanks for stopping by.